Hi and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost and today we're going to be talking about my three favorite features in the Lightroom 5 Beta. Now before we get started, I think it's important to clarify that this version of Lightroom is a public beta. It's not a shipping product, but we wanted to provide you with early access to the new technology so that you could see what we've been working on. With that in mind, when you download the beta, we will not update your Lightroom 4 catalogs to Lightroom 5. Instead, we'll create a new catalog for you to import your images into. This is deliberate because this is a beta and we're still making changes to the program. Of course, when we ship Lightroom 5, you'll be able to upgrade any of your previous catalogs to that new version. And don't forget, you'll want to use copies of your images to experiment with the beta. Don't use your originals and don't use the beta for your production work. Remember, this beta is a work in progress. All right, so let's get started with the first feature here in the develop module. I'm sure that many of you are already familiar with the spot removal tool, which can be used to either clone or heal areas in your image to remove um, distracting elements. Well, in the Lightroom 5 beta, there have been two significant advancements to the tool. As in previous versions, if I want to remove say a piece of dust on the sensor in my image, I can simply click on top of that dust spot and Lightroom will go ahead and auto select or auto find a source in order to fix that area. Now that still works in Lightroom 5. The new functionality is the ability to actually create what's called a brush spot. So let me zoom in here and scoot over to this area Let's say I wanted to remove this house with a pole. Instead of making multiple small spots or creating one giant spot, what I'm going to do instead is I'm actually going to paint with the spot removal brush. So I can start here at the top of the pole and come down. And then with the mouse still down, I'm just painting over the rest of the house. When I release the mouse, then Lightroom will try to find a source area. And if it finds a source area that I don't like, we can always just reposition that by dragging it. So let's just reposition it maybe over here a wee bit more. And then we'll tap the H key in order to hide that to see the results of our spot removal. Excellent. So let's also remove this pole by clicking and dragging. And then we'll scoot over and we have another little pole right here. We can get rid of that. If I want to get rid of this area right here, then if I want to draw a straight line, I'll just hold down the shift key and drag that. Now let's tap the H key again to show our interface. I don't really like the spot that I created back here. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to go ahead and move the area from which Lightroom is cloning just to kind of take a little bit more control and make that not as noticeable. We could also move right up here and we could remove this house as well. Now you'll notice that I don't want to uh, lift up on the mouse here. I want to make sure that I enclose the entire house there with one stroke. Tap the H key again and we can see that Lightroom is pulling from way too far away. So let's scoot that over and then we'll zoom in there again. And I can go ahead and move this over until I like it. Now if at any point I find that the spot that I've brushed is too small, you can always use the size option over here to increase the size of the area. Just like you can when you create a circle spot, you can create a larger or smaller brush spot by manipulating the size. All right, let's scoot over here and see what else we need to remove. I can get rid of that really quickly. Goodness, we could probably even patch this roof for a lot less than it would actually cost. Now, where's that drawing from? Somewhere in the sky here. Let's actually tell it to draw from this other side of the roof. And we'll grab another spot there and maybe even fix this while we're at it. And we'll just reposition that. And how about we grab area from there? All right, now let's just look at the sky again for a moment. You can see that now that I've zoomed in, I can actually see more spots in the sky. But sometimes these areas are really difficult to see. So Lightroom 5 Beta has another new tool, this capability to visualize spots. And I can toggle that on by simply clicking on it down here in the toolbar, or we can use the A key to toggle it on and off. And now we can see all of these little spots 
that were created by dust on my sensor are appearing. And we can use the slider right here in order to increase or decrease that contrast. Then we just move around the image and fix all of those spots. So this can be super handy because you know you don't always see those spots and there's nothing worse than actually missing one and then going to print and getting your print back with a giant spot on it that you just didn't see. So again tapping the A key will toggle that on and off and it might enable you to see spots in areas that you might have otherwise overlooked. And one other thing that I really should mention is that the underlying technology which enables the tools to patch spots automatically has been enhanced. So in other words, we're doing much better math underneath the hood. So not only do you have the new type of spot, but it's also doing a better job both cloning and healing those spots. All right, two last shortcuts. Just before we wrap things up, you might want to know how to remove a spot. Well, you can always click on a spot and then tap the delete key. But if you hold down the option key on the Mac or the alt key on Windows, you should know that you can also uh, just simply click with the scissor icon on top of any spots to remove them. Or with the option key or alt key still held down, you can actually click and drag over multiple spots. And when you let go, Lightroom will automatically remove those for you. So hopefully you can see with the ability to use both the spot and brush options with the spot removal tool that the Lightroom beta has made editing images much easier. Be sure to check it out and let us know what you think.